run the GNS480 in uh, simulator mode and check the test pattern at the beginning which uh, seems to be working now and we'll fly it around shoot a LPV approach and to there's a test pattern because uh, this thing thinks uh, it's already flying because I have a flight plan already entered in there with the speed already set up so that won't do anything but should be coming to the end of the test all right let's go direct to uh see direct to norfolk Norfolk is up here. Let's see what speed do we have in there? Make it go a little faster. But yeah, get 200 knots. There we go. Make make it go a little bit quicker. So we're not even see. Norfolk straight ahead and the RMI is pretty much straining itself up. So so far so good. And the reason you won't see this adding turn much is because I have to turn the whole instrument panel to make that really realistic. So uh, right now it kind of try to bank but really is flying with the with a crab, especially after this turn it is making now, my heading is still gonna stay at 302, so it's gonna be flying with over 90 degrees of crab, uh, but we're not gonna worry about that. All right, so here's a turn. Uh, our mind's pointing to the new waypoint now. The two front flag uh, somehow is not showing. City uh, in centering up. And uh, we're just going to put the flight director, just take the big bar off of there, make it small. So turn the flight director on. So now we have a small, small bars. Now look at the RMI, it's kind of pointing a bit off in the weeds, like uh, 70 degrees to the left, while Zymon is right in front of us. So it should point straight up. Now it's pointing 45 degrees off to the left. It'll eventually pick itself right back up. So it's just uh, the fact that the front of the arrow is moving up. That's just completely opposite to the way a normal RMI actually works. Uh, but it should have gone up straight away. I don't know why it's uh, that slow. Everything else seems to be working pretty good as far as I can tell. So after, after this waypoint, Zymon will turn to the right and I think that's where the LPV approach starts. So we're going to have a, a vertical deviation indicator there also. See, so we have a two. There's actually no two from on this one. All right now we turn to the right, still no two from. Let's look at the map here. The RMI should be falling down. Okay now we're moving into the LPV uh, section of this approach. You normally would be descending uh, on the LPV approach. 
Uh, these crossbars are kind of new to me. I've never seen them there. Uh, if you touch your turn flight director off, we can see them up here as well. Uh, you know, pretty interesting actually. Uh, I suppose that would be useful in case you have lost this indicator. You can still fly the full approach there or vice versa. Um, FUBC, I think, is the final approach fix, so it'll be the runway after that and then the missed approach point. And this goes pretty quick at 200 knots. But... So our mind's about to fall the way it should and then point straight up to the next waypoint. That one worked out great. So right now we're going to the runway. Put an automatic range. Strange there's no to and from flag there, but the main flag is no. Because if we really wanted to see the runway, we'd have to turn this to. Oh boy, there. Yeah, you might not see from there. I can kind of see now, right there. So for the time being, we're not gonna worry about that. All right, here comes the runway. We're gonna go missed approach. The vertical path indicator will disappear. Just have a course line to now there, which is our holding point. That's another three minutes, so we're gonna make it go faster. Speed, oh, uh, about 500 miles an hour. All right. Just once we get a little closer, we'll slow it down again. Oh, as the traffic pattern be humongous. Kind of interested in looking at what the RMI, the very tip right there and the very tail right there, does as we go past now. The, so let's see, we're about seven miles. Let's put 120 knots here. Okay, six miles. Went to get a little closer before we activate it. Enter. All right, again, interested in the RMI indicator their needle see how it behaves and if there's a to and from flag which I don't see right now but should be a two flag but it doesn't show all right there goes the RMI Pointing backward, that's fine. That actually worked out great. He's pointing exactly where it needs to be pointing to our waypoint now. That is behind us. Again, the flag's now showing here, which is strange. It was showing it uh, earlier. come around and make a turn to the right and uh, again we'll see what the RMI does. So right now it's behaving you know, pretty good overall. Don't know what happened to the two from indicator. It should show but some it doesn't. And this pattern is gonna be a minute long no matter what speed I do so uh, that's why I haven't changed the speed but we're getting to the end of it let's take a look what happens when it turns around all right here goes the turn let's look at the HSI let's look at what the RMI 
is doing. So far it's turning okay. Seems a little slow though. Should be about 45 degrees. It's only like 10 degrees off the tail. And let's see. Now it should indicate just about 90 degrees. It's actually indicated about like 30 degrees off the tail. So again, it's a little slow to strain itself back up, which is uh, well annoying to say the least, but uh, it's just wrong. And it should constantly be pointing at Naldi. Seems to me like it's pointing more at this, uh, the end of the course, uh, uh, right there, rather than the beginning. Now it should be almost straight up, and we haven't gotten to 90 degrees yet. So you go now, this straight up in front of us. Our mind still pointing, pointing back. And the weird thing about this is that it will slowly strain itself out. Uh, I am sorry, just uh, come right back up. That we should have been to begin with, but uh, very slowly. Like you can see, it's slowly moving up. Uh, obviously, if it was a real airplane, the arrow really only goes down. Uh, uh, as you move forward, so that's uh, that's a bit weird. Yeah, now this should be to the left, uh, top left, not just coming straight up. And now, uh, as we start pointing to Ronaldo, that should stay straight up, which it's finally doing. So it looks like it's some kind of delay there. It's doing the right thing, but it's doing it slowly. Anyway, that uh, should wrap it up. Uh, this thing is going to stay in the hole forever until we run out of fuel or run out of battery. So we're going to uh, end this uh, this video and uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll learn something from it.